Hi, I'm Scarlett. Please like and subscribe because My Story Animated will give $1,000 to one lucky person who will subscribe in the next seven days. I've been living in this orphanage for as long as I can remember, but the warden always said I'd get adopted by someone special, and I believed that. All I had to do was wait. When I was seven, a new girl named Viola joined our home. She was beautiful with blue eyes and black hair, very different from the rest of us. Also, she was my age and we became roommates. She said she missed her parents and cried for hours. I felt really bad, so I took her for a walk around the campus, cracked some jokes, and made her laugh. She said she really liked me. But later that night at the dining hall, I saw a group of senior girls bullying her. I've never seen someone with blue eyes like this. Now, be a good kitty and lick up every drop of milk from the floor before the warden comes in. But, but why did you drop it? I was hungry, I, I was gonna have it. The girl went crazier. She spat on her face. Poor Viola looked around for help, but everyone was just enjoying the show. I couldn't take it anymore. I ran to the spot and kicked the tall girl from behind, and she fell on all fours right into the milk puddle. Now, be a good janitor and clean all this up. She stood up with fire in her eyes, but thank God the warden turned up just then, and everyone ran off. I took Viola's hand and sat her next to me. We had a happy dinner, and I also shared my glass of milk with her. From that day on, Viola and I became close friends, and soon, we were inseparable. Five years passed, and one day, the mean girl got adopted. We were so happy to see that witch go, but that's when it struck us. What if one of us got adopted? That evening, we made the strongest pinky promise ever. If we're ever getting adopted, we only go together. But only a few days later, the warden called me into her office and introduced me to a rich couple. Hello, dear. We asked your staff, who's the smartest kid here? And everyone said it was you. Would you like to come with us to our home? Oh no, what we feared was actually happening. Someone was here to adopt me, but I couldn't leave without Viola. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I can't come alone. If you want to take me, you'll have to take my friend too. The couple said they only wanted one girl, but I begged and pleaded, and they decided to see Viola too. The warden called her in, and the couple went all gaga on her. Oh, you're such a beauty. How come I didn't see you in the assembly hall? You're my girl. Let's go home. But only you, please. They were so dumb. Why didn't they understand Viola wasn't leaving without me either? We looked at each other, but suddenly, she just looked away and hugged them. Yes, I like you guys so much. I stood there in disbelief as they walked past me. Just like that. She was my best friend. How could she do that to me? I was heartbroken. For weeks, I couldn't get over her betrayal. But I decided I wasn't going to cry over it forever. I put all my heart into studying and soon was the best student in school. One day, our principal called me and said I was selected for a school swap program where I would get to attend eighth grade in a posh private school. That was so exciting. I stepped foot in the biggest place I'd ever seen. It would take me at least a month to learn the way to class. But just then, a girl blocked my way in the corridor and scanned me from head to toe. She was the prettiest girl I'd ever seen, with beautiful tan skin. Uh, I think you got confused. This is an international school, not the Department of Social Services. Want me to show you the exit? Um, no, I, I know this is a school. And I'm here on a scholarship because, shush, are you going to tell me your life story now? With that, she knocked my books out of my hands and kicked them away. I was shocked, but I smiled and said, yeah, I hate studying too. Books suck. What are you talking about? Are you dumb? Can't you see I'm bullying you here? I'm not trying to be your friend. Just get lost. You're so annoying. She pushed me aside and left. I knew being in this school would be hard, but to my surprise, all the girls were nice, except for that girl, whose name was Margot. In our first lesson, someone pranked the teacher and put gum on her chair. It was stuck to her skirt and the teacher was super mad. Just then, Margot got up and said, Miss, I know who did this, and then glared at me. Oh no, was she gonna say my name? Viola. We all turned around to see Viola, and I was completely shocked to see that it was my ex-best friend Viola and she was sitting alone in the back. The teacher asked her if she did it, 
and Viola whispered a yes. The teacher yelled at her and sent her to the principal's office. During lunch, I ran to Viola to talk to her, but she completely ignored me and started walking away. Wait, Viola, I'm Scarlet. We used to be best friends, remember? But Viola just lowered her head and didn't stop. What was up with her? Just then I heard Margot behind me. Ugh, why are you talking to that loser? Didn't you see what I did to her today? I put that gum on the teacher's chair. And when I said her name, all that dummy could do was say yes and go off to the principal like a scared little mouse. Why would you do that? Because I can. And I'm not done with her yet. Don't ask too many questions or you'll be my next victim. This was insane. Viola was in trouble and I didn't know what to do. I was still mad at her, but this Margot sounded so powerful. The next morning, I saw Viola standing at the classroom entrance, taking off everyone's jackets and smiling at them like a freaking maid, while Margot was glaring at her. I knew she was making Viola do this, but suddenly Margot spat at her own shoes and yelled at Viola. Hey, come over here and clean my shoe, and do it with your bare hands. Now. What? I couldn't believe this and Viola was actually walking over to Margot to do what she said. I couldn't take this anymore. I grabbed Viola's arm and stopped her. What's wrong with you? How can you treat someone like this? What's your problem? I told you to keep your poor butt out of this or I will make your life worse than the hell it already is. You poor, stinky, ugly girl. I got super mad and I slapped her right on the cheek. Before she could attack me, someone else pushed me really hard and I fell down. It was Viola. W what are you doing? Don't hurt her. I was shocked. Did she just defend Margot? But but she treats you so badly. She's a bully. No, she is my sister. So stay out of this. What did she just say? Her sister? I was super shocked and confused. I didn't understand what was going on with these two. So I went to the principal and told her everything about how I knew Viola, her adoption, and everything happening now in school. The principal looked touched by my story and said that I was a good person. Do you know what's going on between them? Viola and Margot are both adopted. Margot was adopted first because her parents wanted a beautiful girl. But after some time, her horrible parents thought that Margot wasn't a smart kid and decided to adopt a smart girl. I guess that's when they came to the orphanage and chose you first. But being the shallow people that they are, they chose Viola for her looks. When Margot found out, she went insane, and she's been treating Viola poorly ever since. But can't you do something, ma'am, to punish Margot? Believe me, I've tried. When the other students told me how Viola was being bullied, I talked to their parents. I even threatened to expel Margot if she continued. But Viola came to me later and begged me not to do anything. She said it would only make her life worse. I couldn't believe what I just heard. All this time, I thought Viola was living her best life without me, but she'd actually been suffering, and she was too scared to stand up to that terrible Margot. I tried to stand up for Viola and defend her, but she would always tell me to leave them alone. I felt so helpless. But over time, my friendship with the principal became deeper, and I'd go to her office almost every day to talk. Then one day, the principal suddenly said, Scarlet, there's something I want to talk to you about. I've been thinking about it since the day I met you. I never had children of my own, and, well, you're amazing. So I was thinking, maybe I can adopt you. We will both be really happy, I promise. But if you don't want that, please feel free to say no, I understand. I couldn't believe what I just heard. I was speechless. But then I said, yes, yes, I would love to, and I hugged her tight. Everyone heard the news and my life was about to get so much better and some things would have to change. I was going to make sure they would. The first thing I had to do was deal with Margot. So one day when I saw Margot eating, I approached her and poured all my juice on her head. She started screaming. What are you doing, moron? Why did you do this? Because I can and because I want to. I'm the daughter of the principal. So what? You think I'm scared? You should be. I would be very, very careful if I were you, Margot. With a warm smile, I extended my hand to Viola. This time, she took it, and we both left, leaving Margot in shock. I finally had the chance to talk to Viola alone. The first thing she did was cry so much. 
Oh, Scarlet, I've missed, missed you so much. I never stopped thinking about you, and I made a mistake when I left you back in the orphanage. I was never strong like you, and I just wanted to have a family to love me so badly. But it's only been a nightmare. Please, please, please forgive me. I'm, I'm so sorry, Scarlet. It's okay. It's okay for now. Hush, honey, don't cry. Everything will be okay. Calm down. Not until you say you forgive me. I forgive you, and I missed you too. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. Do your parents know that Margot is a jerk to you? She acts very nice in front of them, but I think they know everything. They are just scared of her because she's evil. I don't want to live with them anymore. Please, help me. I hugged her and calmed her down. Once I told mom about everything, she immediately contacted social services and helped Viola end her adoption with her parents. Once that was done, I asked mom if she'd adopt Viola too, and she gladly agreed. But when Margot found out about all this, she went ballistic. Hey Viola, you jerk. How dare you say nasty things about me? I think I was too nice to you. I should have finished you off every moment I got the chance to do so. Don't you ever give up? Game over, Margot. Oh, sister, let me handle this. And with that, Viola punched Margot in the face. Don't you ever come near me again. And I have some good news for you. You're a psycho. And the court said that you will need therapy. So go get that and fix your ways. Your parents are already thinking of sending you to some horrible orphanage. And for the first time, I saw Margot looking scared. She got up and ran away. I looked at Viola and said, I love you, my soulmate. I love you too. And we hugged.